r slash r credit. What restaurant have you sworn to never return to, and why? Part of being a responsible adult is structuring your life in such a way that you are never in a position of having to eat at Applebee's. But they have $1 Long Islands that can get you blasted at 3pm on a Tuesday. So structure your life around that. At least. Yeah you go, do that then go to the chillers down the road for actual food. Applebee's. I was sat by the hostess then waited 20 minutes to get my drink order taken. Eventually the manager brought them out, and 20 minutes later the server took our food order. Then she disappeared for half an hour and I went to find the manager again. And he couldn't find her, so he brought the food then ignored us again too. I left a tip. But it was two pennies and a soggy straw wrapper making a frowny face. And a soggy straw wrapper making a frowny face. You over tipped. It's not about the money. It's about sending a message. I came here expecting a few different local restaurants, but apparently Applebee's is run by a council of the most inept owners gathered from all the worst episodes of Kitchen Nightmares. Where's the lamb sauce? It's duck I'm raw. <laughs> Lol I came in here to say Applebee's, but it seems you guys have it covered. Millennials are killing Applebee's. I mean. I think Applebee's is killing Applebee's just fine on its own. <laughs> Dennis. Ah you're just kidding. Applebee's. Edit, lol this is my most upvoted comment. I'm gonna use my platform to remind you all to wipe after a big one. Got me. I live in Switzerland. But if I ever were back in the US. Applebee's. Simply to fit in. I'm Swiss. But staying stateside right now. If I come back to Switzerland. I'll bring in Applebee's, so we can all collectively teach each other to hate at least one thing that exists in Switzerland. Can you represent all of Switzerland and go out tonight to Applebee's just to confirm to all the Swiss that it is indeed terrible? <laughs> Applebee's is the reason I don't have a dad. Applebee's killed my family. Applebee's poisoned our water supply, burned our crops, and delivered a plague on to our houses. <laughs> a place near me turned away a blind guy because of his guide dog. Made the papers. What makes it even worse is that the guy is renowned in the area for running marathons to raise money for charity. Applebee's? <laughs> Applebee's. Took over 45 minutes for me to get my appetizer and the waitress kept my change. Food was just okay. How on earth did that happen? I mean you literally just had to ask to speak to a manager before you left. Hard to believe any waitress would risk her job over stupid hit like that. Had the waiter at a bar. Keep my change, when I gave him a 24 like an $18 bill, pitcher and another ear. I just didn't say anything, because I was actually going to tell him to keep it, and also give him another $5 for a total of a $7 tip. He cut his tip to less than a third by keeping it, so it was his loss really. <laughs> An Applebee's waitress tried to convince me their new recipe nachos didn't include cheese. When I requested cheese. I was given a plate with two melted cheese slices on it. Never again. Then they aren't nachos. WTF. How do you have nachos without cheese? I'm confused. Except for maybe desert nachos or something. These clearly were desert nachos. A barren. Hostile. Cheeseless land. <laughs> I'm convinced that someone with a bunch of reddit accounts has some sort of personal grudge against Applebee's. Every experience I've had with Applebee's has been horrible. I'm really not surprised it's a popular opinion. I went on my second date with my now girlfriend there. So I can't completely hate it. Though. I did find out that the manager hit on her while she waiting for me to get there. <laughs> Op I'm so sorry your trade got hijacked by stories about Applebee's, but goddamn I haven't laughed this hard at a comment section in a while. I vote we try this thread again tomorrow. But specify what restaurant other than Applebee's. But yeah this thread is a beauty in its own right. I keep going deeper looking for one non Applebee's reply and keep getting swerved in new ways. Ducking beautiful. <laughs> Applebee's. Their steaks have changed and now they're always dry and full of gristle. I was taken to an Applebee's once. I ordered a ribeye. They brought out a sirloin cut. I asked to return it and bring out what I ordered and they brought it out. I suspect they routinely send out cheaper cuts of meat to unsuspecting people. The mayo I love that was taken. 
I'm imagining you being pulled out of the trunk of a black van in the corner of a deteriorating parking lot and shoved into a chair at an Applebee's. Squinting at the light after hours and hours of darkness and wondering if you'll ever see your family again. And ordering from the menu with a gun pointed at you under the table. But the food takes so long to come that the police catch up with the kidnappers and surround the restaurant. Along with the 50% of the wait staff that is already outside taking their smoke break at any given moment. Quite the imagination I have. It really helps when I'm forced to wait an hour and a half for my food. Okay. Seems like there is a consensus on Applebee's then. One night recently I went on a date and we decided to walk over to a nearby bar after our dinner. We both like the bar and my date's best friend was bartending. We sat down together at the bar. It was kind of early so not many people were there yet and the chairs next to each of us were empty. After a little, while some guy saunters up next to me and strikes up a conversation with me. He was being pretty flirty. Which was weird, because I was very clearly with my date. Who is a pretty tall, somewhat intimidating guy. And his best friend bartender was right in front of us. Who not only works there but also is kinda intimidating. So I introduced this rando, Sanford, to my date. To make it crystal clear not to flirt with me. It had no effect. In fact, Sanford started to borderline flirt with my guy. In a rhyming kindergarten and my idea of flirting is being a huge asshole. I'm pretty advanced at banter. And I was getting increasingly runk. So I just kept my attention focused on my date and would give funny but harsh remarks back to Sanford when necessary. My date is also a sarcastic asshole when necessary and we were honestly having fun with it. Albeit annoyed. I got harsher and harsher as time went on. And then Sanford started to get pretty upset. He hit me with a real doozy. After flirting with me all night. Prompting others to acknowledge that I'm gorgeous. He got upset and said to me a. Hey, I would hit it if it weren't for your huge Adam's apple. Ouch. So. At this point. I get wide eyed that this creep just went there. And my date. He gets pissed. He immediately tells Sanford that that's too ducking far and to get the hell away from us. Once I recover from that horrendous burn. I turn to Sanford in a way he can no longer even see my date and my date cannot attempt to defend me. I smile. I stand up. And I open my hand towards Sanford. Implying I want him to take it. He stands up and takes my hand. Grinning. As if he thinks he finally won his trip to the bathroom for now. Because he finally wore my self esteem down enough to want to duck the likes of him. But no. I put a death grip on his hand and dragged him to the front door and kindly ask the bouncer to kick this guy out. The bouncer immediately turns to him and says get the duck out of here man. Sanford's face basically goes white and loses his argument with the bouncer. And leaves. The end. Hattero no there's more. This is where Applebee's enters the duck eyeing stage. Two short days later. My bestie and I go to run some errands. Decide we need dinner, but want to keep it super cheap and nearby, so we begrudgingly go to the nearest restaurant. Applebee's. We take a seat at the bar. Which was mostly empty save for two regulars across from us. The restaurant is completely empty behind us. And there are maybe five totals tables on the other side. We order our $1 Long Island and some apps, and are having a great time, when I see one of the servers. Wow he looks familiar. That couldn't be. No, there's no way. That could be him. Sanford. I turn to my friend and say I, I think that's the creep from the bar I told you about. The one I got kicked out. I try to figure out if it's him without grabbing his attention. But lose interest and carry on with the meal. We were almost done with our appetizers when someone taps me on my shoulder. I turn and what do you know? It is Sanford. He's smiling and I start laughing. Obviously he has come over to apologize. Say he was drunk. And make amends. He says. Remember that time you got me kicked out of parliament? Me. Laughing no. Not at all. Him. Still smiling yeah that's gonna come back. To bite you in the ears one day. His smile quickly turns into a creepy glare. And he storms off to the computer on the other side of the bar. I'm processing what he just said. And getting angrier by the second. When he starts yelling at me from across the bar. He tells me he's glad he didn't hook up with me because of my Adam's apple. 
Why? Exactly. He's so stuck on my Adam's apple, which no one has ever commented on before. And isn't really that big? I'm not sure. And why he chose to start hurling insults across the bar for all to hear. When he's on the clock, and doing all of this within earshot of his own tables. I'm not sure. He keeps on with his tirade and all I say is dude. You're at work. Do you really want to lose your job, because of me too? He scoffs and walks away. Another worker finally appears, and my friend grabs her, and asks for a manager. Sanford sees this, and rushes into the kitchen. Presumably to do damage control before the manager speaks to us. It takes probably 5 whole minutes before a manager appears. I apologize and say that I know he probably doesn't need any problems, but that I simply can't accept his employee's behavior and explain what just happened in the context. He gets a statement from the regulars across the bar. They seem to confirm our story. I'm sure the rest of the restaurant would have as well. Including Sanford's tables. Considering they all turned and stared when it was going down. The manager reappears with some sort of form takes down my account of what happened, and my contact information. He kinda apologized. Said they might contact me, once the GM sees this. We were almost done anyways. So when the bartender finally shows back up, after missing all of this. We ask for our check. She wasn't being very friendly. But she had been like that from the start, so that wasn't a surprise. I was somewhat surprised to see, that the manager didn't pay for an appetizer or something. Considering his employee just yelled insults at me and everyone in the restaurant heard it and stared at me. Also considering he somewhat threatened me with the that's gonna bite you in the ass comment. I bartended and served for one third of my life. And can't imagine not doing something to apologize. I was hoping I would get a call from the grams. I don't know what I wanted to hear. But felt like somebody should take real action on the matter. I never got a phone call as I was made to believe I probably would. I never really even got an apology. And I'm willing to bet they never even really fired this psychotic duck. That, ladies and gents, is why I will never go to Applebee's again. I'm Runk as hit off three quarters of a bottle of wine and this was a great ducking read. <laughs> Till everyone hates Applebee's. I think the hatred is due to the fact that it used to be good. At least. A lot of us in our late 20s slash early 30s remember it being good. During that time, late 90s, there wasn't a lot of competition and most other restaurants were these awful 1970s slash 80s relics that had bad food and smelled like 50 years of stale cigarette smoke. Applebee's was a great alternative to aging chains like Ponderosa and Big Boy. The hit they covered the walls with made it look fun and informal. And the food was actually really good. They were also clean. Since they got popular right around the time smoking in bars was banned a lot of places. But sometime in the last 10 years the food quality really declined. And the decorating is a lot more spartan and stale than it used to be. It probably doesn't help that the restaurants themselves are aging. And the chain is in the same place restaurants like Ponderosa and Big Boy were in 20 years ago. Poor food quality for the money. McDonald's is hotter and fresher. And decor in desperate need of a facelift. Mayo Applebee's. And I meant that before I started reading this thread. They forgot we were there. Sat there for 2 hours. You sat there silent for 2 hours though. I always think this when I hear about people waiting for any period above 10 minutes. <laughs> Applebee's sounds like the scourge of the earth thanks to this thread. I bet this will appear in a BuzzFeed article at some point talking about America's most hated restaurant or something. <laughs> Crapplebee's. Ate there 15 years ago. Thought it sucked. Two friends convinced me to try it again last year. Wound up hugging toilet and dry heaving the next morning. Never again. Aha I thought this was a different restaurant at first glance. And I was like oh what other restaurant sucks besides. Oh wait never mind makes sense though aha. <laughs> Brooklyn's Pizzeria in Austin Texas. Edit. Wife said it was Brooklyn Pie Company. Near Mesa and Spicewood. I don't see it in Google Maps. I'm assuming it is closed now. I ordered a gyro pizza. Right off the menu. Guy taking my order said they don't sell that. Pointed to it in the menu and he took my order. 45 minutes later. I asked where my pizza was. They lost it. No one else was in the restaurant. 15 minutes later I asked again. Oh. You wanted us to make another one. 
A few minutes later they must have found it cause they brought it out cold. Where they lost it and found it. I probably don't want to know. Starving. My wife and I ate a slice each and asked for a new one. They said they'd fix it. Brought out the same pizza. Burnt to hit. Does Applebee's own them? I'll go to Applebee's before I go back to this place. Does that mean that Applebee's owned them? <laughs> Applebee's. Had a chicken salad. Got home. Puked up nothing but the lettuce. Called in sick for three days. My mom didn't even make it out of the Applebee's. She bathed all over the table. Ducking like and subscribe.